So here we go again. New piece on the bottom. Lead with the center square. So your accurate quarter inch seam. I'm only doing four pieces just to give you a full feeling of the chain piecing and how we work with this. Not going to make you watch me make 34 blocks for the log cabin quilt. Now, got that one done. Same thing. I'm going to finger press. So that means, and I'm still pressing away from the center block. It's the way I do it on all of these. And the finger press is just a nice little, sometimes I like to put my fingernails on there too. Now, I've done two light pieces, an A center, an A light, a B light. The next piece is also going to be a B, but it will be back to the pastels. So, new piece on the bottom. Going to do the very same thing. Oops, still good. New piece on the bottom, and I'm still going to lead with the center square. So that means that center square is the first one under the needle. And again, my seam allowance is going the direction I want it to go. Because, hey, I'm in charge. And so are you when you're sewing. So press away from the center square. Put the new piece on the bottom. Lead with the center square. Now you always want, when you're chain piecing, you always want this whole group of chain units to look alike. You always want them to be right and look alike. Just looking alike is no good if you haven't done them right. But this clue that you've done it right is they all look the same. New piece on the bottom. Lead with the center square. New piece on the bottom. Lead with the center square. So I need to finger press this just a little bit. Lead with the center square. Now when I finished this, at this point, we quit talking about leading with the center square. We have a whole new trick up our sleeves now. Because you know, the next piece, now we've put on two light and one print. So the next piece is going to be a print piece. So let's get that piece, and it's going to be C. Now, when I pick up that C piece, well, look, it fits here on this side. But it would fit just as well on this side, wouldn't it? Ooh, but if you put it on the wrong side, you no longer have the proper rotation of pieces going around the center square. So this is the trick. And this is a tip for every log cabin quilt you ever make. Do you see that there are three pieces of fabric? It's very easy to see, three different fabrics. Two seam lines on this side. On this side, there's only one piece of fabric, no seam. On this side, two pieces of fabric, one seam. Two pieces of fabric, one seam. There's only one side that has two seam allowances. Next piece goes on that side. Always, from now on, every piece you add, there's only one side of the unit that has two seam allowances, and that's where the new piece goes. Still going to go, new piece on the bottom. I've still got a perfect fit, yay. And I'm going to chain piece. Now I've got one seam that's going against the presser foot. But because I'm right here on top, I can control that and always keep it nice and flat. And then one seam allowance that's going away from the presser foot that's very easy to control. New piece on the bottom. 
I don't want two new pieces. I have finger pressed. Here we go. And we'll just keep on keeping on. And every seam, every seam we add, every piece we add, when it lines up perfectly with the subunit we've already made, we know two seams. Oh, that's the same fabric. I don't want that. It's a scrap quilt, isn't it? So two seams, that's the edge. The strip goes on, keep stitching, chain piece. It is good to make all four, there are 14 blocks that have one of the white fabrics, 10 with the other white fabric. It's really good to make them all in the units of 14 and 10, and it's just amazing how fast they all line up. Well, this gives you some good tips on actually sewing the log cabin blocks. We've cut them, learned how to use the log cabin ruler, and now how to actually sew log cabin blocks. So you're on your way. I hope you'll enjoy making Rachel's baskets quilts or any other log cabin quilts for the rest of your whole quilt making career. I'm Marty Michelle. Thanks for watching.